Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you how to make a easy and fast tic-tac-toe trivia game that you can play with students, your employees, or your friends and family. So to get started, let's go to TriviaMaker.com. Once you have an account, when you open up Trivia Maker, you will get a dashboard which has these different options for creating different style games. Since we're gonna be creating a tic-tac-toe game, we wanna click this red icon which says tic-tac. And what it's gonna allow us to do is to choose a theme. You can go from red versus gray, green versus blue, or pink versus blue. So I think we're just gonna go with the standard red versus gray. And we'll go ahead and click this, choose our theme. And then we're gonna give it a title. And let's call it Tic Tac Challenge. So we're gonna call it Tic Tac Challenge, that'll be the name. Then we have the option to give it a description, which would basically be a way for us to remember why we created it or what it's made for. I'm gonna leave that blank for now. Then we have the option to make it downloadable. This would let other people access our game if we give them the link. And then we have the discoverable toggle and that enters this game into the public list of games so that other people can see your game. Right now we'll leave both of those off since we're still working on it. All right, so now that we've created the game, now we need to go in and fill it with content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm gonna go begin to put in some content. And you see the way that this is laid out is like a tic-tac-toe grid where question one is in the upper left. Question five is the middle square. Question nine is the bottom right square. And so what we can do is just begin to enter in our questions and answers into these different boxes. And so let's work on the middle square first. Let's say that's the main square. Let's do question five. And so here I just begin to type in my question and I say, what is the capital of California? And then I have the option of either making this a multiple choice, which I can choose how many answers, or I can go single answer, which would just basically be, I put the question out there, and once you say the right answer, then I reveal it. But for this, I'm gonna go ahead and do multiple choice. So let's go with two questions. And we'll say this, we'll say option one is San Francisco, and we'll say option two Sacramento, and because Sacramento is the correct answer, we'll mark as correct as that. Then we have the option to go to a previous question or next question if we wanted to keep editing like this. We also have the option of adding in an audio clip or a photo or a YouTube link if we wanted to put that in the question and display that when the person clicks on that area. Now let's go save question. So we just did question five. Let's go ahead and we'll do question one right here. And we'll say, what is the state bird of California? And we'll do single answer for this one. And we just say quail. And again, we can add an audio clip, a photo or a video in here if we wanted to show a little video about a quail. So now we'll save the question. So then what we're gonna do is we just begin to continue to fill in all these questions as we see fit, and that would be the end of the first round. And then if we add a second round, we would do this, and you can click on this little pencil, and, and we can add in all the questions for round two, same thing, add in stuff for round three, and we can add in all of these rounds like that. So that is how we enter in our content. I'm gonna show you a few other things and then we'll go and actually play our game. A couple of things you might wanna do is you can begin to customize the font color, which is gonna be what color is on your question right here. You can do the button color and button color is going to be what color are the panels, what color are behind the question, what color are your buttons up at the top that let you control the sound effects and things like that. That is with the button. And then background color is going to be what's up here in your header. Let's go ahead and let's change the logo. I created a fun logo for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete the stock logo, and then I'm gonna browse, and I'm gonna upload this logo that I created, and it's called Tic Tac Trivia Challenge, and so I'm gonna save this. And then when I scroll up, the logo should appear. So there's our custom logo that we made in Photoshop. 
If you wanna upload your own company or your school logo right there or your Memoji or something for your classroom, the best thing to do is to have it with a transparent background. That's why you can still see the kind of background of the game show. So create your logo. You could put in any sort of background image you want and then you could also add your own theme music. And so if you upload a MP3 file or a WAV file, then you can put that in here. And again, you just delete, trash this, and then you'd upload your own. And so that's saved, and then we can go in here, and let's say we wanted to give ourselves some team names. And so maybe it was like you were gonna play sales department versus the web department. So we'll make team one sales, and we can choose their team color. If we wanted to go any color, we could choose it. Let's just go, we'll leave it stock color, or team two, web. So we save that. And then I'll just go through a few more options. Again, this is the place where you could give the description if you wanted to, the category. You could give it any sort of thing that you want. I'll just go general education here if you wanted to give it some tags. And again, these things are more useful if you're trying to put your game out there for the public to see. If you want them to be able to search it and find it based on the content or whatever it revolves around, then having tags and searchable things so that other people could find your game are helpful. So here you can put in tags and I might just put in education. I might put in presidents and in US states in case somebody was doing that kind of stuff. Um, then I can select my age, if it's for kids, if it's for youth, if it's for adults, how difficult I want it to be. And then I have again these options to make it public or downloadable like you saw at the beginning. So. That is basically how you set up your content. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save one more time and just make sure all of this content is in there. I always try to click save basically after anything that I do. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and we will launch our game. So before we do that, I'm gonna just add in a bunch more content and I'll fast forward so you guys don't have to see this, but we'll go ahead and begin to add in all this content. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and added in five rounds of all different kinds of trivia. And what I'm gonna do is scroll back up to the top. And let me, so what I'm gonna do, I've added this around, I'm gonna save it one last time just to make sure that it's, everything is good. And I always save it as much as I can. All right, now let's go back up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click play right here. And you have different options. We have tutorials on what these options are about using a presenter, using two different controllers, or casting to a TV. And we have other tutorials that talk about those, but right now I'm just gonna use the basic view where what I see on my screen is what's up on the students or the audience screen. So here our game comes up, we see our logo pop up right there, and we see that sales team has zero points and the web team has zero points. And so the way that we launch this is we go ahead and would click on a round to bring up the first round. And so it's gonna say, who do you wanna go first? And let's go ahead and we'll let team one who are the O's, we'll let them go first. So it says, all right, sales, pick a square. So like most tic-tac-toe players, they're probably gonna go with the middle first. And so there's our question, what is the capital of California? And we set it as a multiple choice. So we see this icon here, which tells us this is a multiple choice question. So once we open it up, then we say, all right, sales team, what do you guys think? What's the answer? And they're all gonna shout out, you know, it was Sacramento. So then we say, boom, you are correct and O gets the square. See that? Now it's gonna say X, now it's your turn. The web team, it's your turn. So they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna try and block. And so they go here with question one and they say, what's the state bird of California? And we see this icon right here, which means that this is a single answer. It's not multiple choice. So if I click again on this area, it's going to reveal the answer. So don't click it until somebody shouts out the answer or you say so-and-so, what's the answer? And they say it's the quail. And so they said the right answer, and so we're gonna mark it as correct. If they got the wrong answer and we revealed it, we would click this, which would give the square to the other team. So because they got it correct, X now gets that square. So let's try another one. Let's say O is trying to go for the top row, and so go a question. Which film did Steven Spielberg win his first Oscar for Best Director? And we'll say Schindler's List is the right answer, and so O gets the square. So now X has to try and, of course, block this, so if they get this wrong, O is gonna win this round. So who is responsible for the creation of Night King? And let's say, let's just say the Dark Prince. Team X thinks is the answer, we put that up, it's wrong, and so therefore 
O gets the spot, and O wins the round. All right, so it says sales has won this round. So what it's gonna do is gonna take us back to this main menu. Now sales has a point, and the web team has zero points. And we would go on like this all the way through the rounds, and we get to the end, and whoever wins best of five rounds is gonna win. And just in case you guys had any questions about this stuff up here, we go through these in other tutorials, but these are some emojis that you can put up on the screen if somebody gives a great answer, or if something exciting happens, you can do some fireworks, you know, things like that. These are all sound effects that you can do throughout it. You can have a theme song play, an applause, a sad sound, or you can just quiet all the sound effects right there. So that is it guys, that is how you make a tic-tac-toe game using TriviaMaker.com. It's really easy, really fun, and I promise it'll keep your audience and your classroom engaged. So make sure you check out all of our other tutorial videos and the frequently asked questions on our website, tutorials there as well. So thanks guys and happy trivia making.